Yes, Congresswoman, um, thank you for coming on. I really am glad that you decided to come and talk to us. Um, I feel like you're the boogie woman of the right and I'm the boogie woman of the left, so it's interesting to be talking to you. We know this is a crazy administration. Right. There's actually nothing I've seen so far in any but of these reports is that's it's illuminating in any way. But this is different. Yeah, that you don't have fire, the balls to come no, out and say it publicly. No, You're going to do it anonymously. Fire and Fury was a reporter. Thanks mm -hmm. for the one clap. <laughs> <laughs> don't blame them. Mm -hmm. I will say, Sonny has been a big proponent throughout, I think, the entire time it's been, we've been talking about it on the show, of impeachment. Impeachment! And I will say... <laughs> Okay, let me finish. Let me finish. Thank you. Don't At worry about point, the Democrats. The Democrats then, are going to get it together. Can you ask? Can you answer this though for me? I do have a you, question. You sure about that? Why, yes. All why, right. Why has the RNC on election night? I want that. If, I want if, that if, clip. If people right are so up here. upset. Yeah. I, I really would love <laughs> an answer to this. Yeah. Oh come on. Why has you? I quit Facebook, Facebook a long time ago. Facebook is spying on all of us, and I don't need more eye in the sky right. government stuff for them to know about me. Thank you for clapping, <laughs> ma'am. If you look at the polling I do uh, that was just that was just done yesterday, Kamala had five percent of the vote. A national poll. It put her in sixth place. Amy Klobuchar and Tulsi Gabbard had 2%. The poll had Andrew Yang at 4%. Even today, um, there is a poll that has her had Harris at 6%. She's been steady, actually not trending downward. But maybe um, she has less money. Does she have less money than Amy? What is that? Does she have less money than Amy? Can I finish, please? She, she maybe there did have less. I'm actually between... not finished speaking, but that's fine. Does she have less money Just than Amy, it. than um, Kamala? Just forget it. What no. is that? Does... Does Can I also <laughs> just point out one? I was shocked to, to hear uh, Bill, uh, Will Hurt say that. In, in, my, in my view, it says more about Will Hurt than it says about the evidence. I think that anyone that was listening uh, heard nine people, nine people, nine mm. people testify as to what they saw, as to what they heard. People that, as Anna mentioned, uh, have served our country, someone who has a purple heart. You know, but he and I will also say, I will also say that it tells me that he is complicit. <sighs> the Republican Party has enabled this president, continues no, to not, enable I, I, no, no, this no, president. It is very it's not fair. fair. It's totally it is very fair. accurate. You, you're slandering and the CIA. He is, Let her finish. he is complicit. Well, I don't know if it's about a political he's future. Complicit? He's, I don't know what down. it is about, but you know, it is it's, it's about that mentality, though. That's if gonna, someone it's, says it's that mentality that's going to get Trump reelected, and it's about okay. the fact okay. that he heard evidence okay. clear and simple, <clears throat> and for him to sit there and say that he that evidence has to be overwhelming and that he heard no overwhelming evidence, I want to know which hearings he was sitting. So, at. for what I have to say is, that's I what think. I Cheap applause line, but I for one it's will not a cheap heard. Line. Maybe I they thank, agree. Let me speak. You've I been thank speaking you, a lot. I thank you, Will Hurd, for your service to our country and putting your life on the line for many, many years in the CIA protecting us from terror. And so, okay, Colonel can I, ask, can I say question? something? I also want to thank Lieutenant Colonel Vinden. So do I. I, I want to thank all veterans. I'm the only one thank, on it. Yeah, I want to thank Robert Mueller. But do you know what? my line by... Well, let me please... Do you let thank me him for his finish? service? Do you thank Will Hurd for his service? Absolutely. I like Will Hurd, but I also think Will Hurd is acting politically. I think, look, right now... He's not. He's leaving office. He doesn't have a yeah, but that doesn't mean he's going to run in 2020. Or... He's leaving office oh, for now. He's also going to have to make money here, at some point. We don't know the, what his future holds. Here's the, and we all have our own opinions, right? Here. I believe we have to have a crime committed by the president himself. And right now, we aren't there. He committed and if a you crime. Impeach him, they if you have impeach a crime. They have a crime. Just for, like he did with Mueller. They have Americans into thinking he didn't commit a crime. And if you watch these impeachment hearings, the Republicans muddy it up and distract. Why not just vote him out in November? If Democrats are that confident... That he's is bad, then get him out for in the Constitution. I don't, I don't, I'll tell you what the crime I, I, I is. The really, crime I, is I, we have to go to a commercial. The crime is we have soliciting to to foreign assistance for a domestic political campaign. So yeah. these, so are, that was these are all soldiers. Yes, that's the thing. But they're all soldiers the who have fought and sacrificed.
sacrificed and served for this country. We should not be questioning their loyalty. People who put their life on the line for America and for freedom, their loyalty to you know, America well, should not in just be questioned. Listen, and I'm not going to sit here and do also, it. Hold on a second. You, just because somebody served does not ipso facto make them above reproach. For you me, know, for no, me no. and where I come from, it does. I, I listen. I'm sorry. Serving in Iraq in a war zone as a medic and what and what he did as well, by the way, and his brother, by the way, Alexander Vindham also serves and they have, um, both of them have purple hearts. And I just don't understand. For me, yeah, you get a pass for a lot of reasons. Because Automatically. You get, if you are putting your really? life on the line for freedom. Certainly give the benefit of the yes. doubt. Definitely. Yes. Soldiers in this country and veterans and people who have by lived way, and fought for freedom just, uh, get a pass from what, me. What do, you, what do you mean, Joy, Thank by you. saying I'm so facto I'm just a saying, pass I'm for just everything. Saying, because just, we do have war criminals. Okay, everybody, just yeah. take a breath. Because yeah. now it's it's, it's you know what? becoming you know what? hard I'm to... I'm sorry, but people, to, people... Hold on, let me just finish what I'm saying Please. so that I can just say... Okay. Everybody has something to say at the table. We really do want to hear from everybody, but we're starting to do that thing. Right. And so I'm... I don't know I'm what just, that means, this thing. It means you're talking Close. over each other. Well, it's, a sh it's the view. It is the view. <laughs> When I'm saying to you, hold up, because we're not hearing each other, I'm not trying to cut you off. I'm trying to get you heard. I don't think so you're that's, trying to cut me off. But no, no, but that's what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, but that's yeah. what you're doing right now. We'll be back. If I ever leave the country, you will never hear me criticize any America's perfect and nothing bad ever happened. Mm -hmm. That's just how I was raised. Unless of When you were Jail visiting him, he was allegedly kicked out of the Ecuadorian embassy because he was defecating everywhere and creating messes. No, well, that's a smear campaign. And they that's not true. There was video of, of things that happened. I, I mean, I don't. What would you do if you were locked in a room for just for really quick. six years? Well, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be a cyber terrorist, which he is. He's he not hacked a cyber information. He, he didn't leaks hack. included classified documents that put our national security at risk, our military, you know who and the lives of spies at risk and diplomats is the, is at the risk. military. Who, how many people have the, military, the American so, government killed innocently, and how many has WikiLeaks? So you think the military is putting the government at risk? The military has put many innocent lives at risk. Oh, calm down, sir. <laughs> for I, I, classified information, I believe, is classified for a reason. I do have some faith in the U.S. government, although as a conservative, yes. I have less faith normally than liberals do. You certainly stirred up a lot in yes. this country. Yes, well, that's because um, a cyber terrorist. I, I mean, well, I'll say I it. Uh, the Republican I'll Party won. It. It's ridiculous. No. I'm not going right. to stand by this. It's ridiculous. Oh, We're going to have a little bit of fun next segment. <laughs> yes. Okay, um, that's fine. No, yeah. we can Pamela Anderson is sticking around. Okay. Uh, we'll be right Stirred back after this. Stirred a lot of trouble. Yeah. There's a lot mm -hmm. of people in this country, there's a lot of people on the hard left that defend Julian Assange. Well, let's say right, a lot fine, of but the, le the left is happy that, is that there's a whistleblower blowing the whistle on Trump. The, less, on the left is happy though, about what that. What she's saying, though, is what Julian Assange did, in, in, in my mind, too, in is just as Hillary dangerous Clinton's as email. what yes. the president is yes. being... Um, charged with doing, or people are assuming yes. that he did. It's putting people's lives in danger. It's putting our national intelligence. It's throwing them completely yes. under the, the bus for their own benefit. Yeah, president is doing that. And maybe I, I, Assange, me, I think maybe Julian I Assange is a traitor. Excuse me. Maybe I was clumsy in the way that I said <laughs> I, you it. You know, I'm, I'm two I'm feet away. I don't need you to scream Abby, at me this way. Abby was. I don't. I don't know what you just said. But I I'm, said, don't scream at me. I'm two feet away. I, I'll read it. You know what? Let me read it. Trump has denied doing That's anything so rude, improper. Anna. We'll be right. <laughs> the other, the other night, I literally. Oh, That's too gross. I won't tell the story. But the, the, I found something on the floor that you should never find on your floor. Really? And it took me a minute to realize what it was. And do you have animals? Is, this is my. I have animals and <laughs> children. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it could have, could have been one from anyone. Well, all right. You've got, also, three, you've got three kids, so it obviously wasn't a used condom. No. She also. <laughs> <laughs> too late for that. God. <laughs> Go ahead, Anna. <laughs> but how would you handle this particular thing? A woman took to Reddit asking if her relationship is over because she accidentally called out the wrong name whilst in the midst of sex. Over. Done. And the guy, the guy walked out, and yeah. we haven't seen him since. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, has that ever happened to you, Governor? I know. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, I've, I've been, my God! I've, I've been... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Joy, I've, I've been having sex with the same woman for 33 years, <laughs> exactly. and she remembers my name, well, thankfully. Good for her. <laughs> thankfully. But... And that, and that's exactly but, what Mary Pat wants to just be known for. Yeah, that's, that's exactly all. right. She's a wonderful woman. She's watching right now and First saying, oh, how thrilled I am. Yes. Mary Pat. How thrilled I am. But she never yells out, Governor Christie, Governor oh Christie. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. No. Uh, welcome to the <laughs> 
never enjoy the formal title. No, no, my hi, fault. Mary Pat. My fault, Mary no, Pat. She's Sorry. a lovely woman. Yes, we know. Bad. We know that. <laughs> Just because you're a lovely woman doesn't mean you're not interested in your I'm husband. I'm not she's any with her husband. It's I, fine, but good lord, he was a governor. I, Governor Christie, Governor Christie, we'll be right back. Well, Jordan, you yeah. and I have the most important thing of all things in common. We're both from Arizona. AZ? Yes. yes. <laughs> and I love Arizona so much. Fleetwood yeah. Mac was inducted last year, and I, I like, absolutely love Fleetwood mm -hmm. Mac, mm -hmm. but I really love Stevie Nicks. She's from Sedona, so I feel like mm -hmm. we have, like, Arizona sisterhood. And he was considered, like, not from Kentucky, like, he wasn't, like, a real Kentuckian, which, as someone from Arizona, and I ride really hard for Arizona, I understand that that doesn't go over well, so... Can I just say one thing? What, what about the Constitution? Isn't that the bottom line? First of all, line? I first believe... Of all, I got, hold, don't make fun I have a copy of the Constitution on my nightstand. Good. So please don't talk to me about the Constitution. Well, the Constitution belongs to all of us, whether we I have know, it on our stand I know, but I'm just saying it's a very important to most conservatives. Okay, but it, cool. just to follow up on that, did powers. you say that uh, Congress did not support what President Obama Congress wanted to do? Congress did not give the President, President Obama, the authority to proceed. And so oh, in the absence of that authority, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, he went and negotiated a deal with the Russians to force the Syrians to give up their chemical weapons stockpile, but or had, at least that which was declared. So had Congress given President Obama permission... The authority. To, to the authority, rather. He would have taken those strikes. To, ...to cross the red line. He would have. He would have taken those strikes. And, and but, you know, but, but, you but know, we still be in this situation where we are... And fulfill it. No. Right. Well, he couldn't well, get difficult them to fulfill it if I, Congress I don't I allow really understand, I understand it, but I still that. think, as President Trump shows, sure. the president has ultimate power. Steve Schmidt, I think he worked on your father's campaign. John uh, Weaver, that's a, that's a who very touchy subject. Father. We're trying to have right. a good day John today. Weaver, right. who worked on John that's Weaver, also, also worked on, on your are, father's campaign and your father's he campaign. Was, they right. were notoriously yeah, fired there. from let's both of our dad's campaigns. Right. George but, Conte. Okay, but just and so I think for conservatives, as myself. When you're using examples of people who no matter what, I believe Steve Schmidt notoriously uh, worked for my dad and then wouldn't vote for him because of Sarah Palin. And also so worked when for you have George, people, George Bush I, I'm the and one that, Schwarzenegger. He, I know him well. I know him well, Sonny. I know him well. Yeah. My question for Charlize Theron coming up is about the movie Game Change that has the same producers of Bombshell. This stuff is deep. I understand what you're saying, Whoopi, that if you're not as politically in tune, it doesn't make sense. But for most conservatives, when you say these names, mm -hmm. George Conway, mm -hmm. bells mm -hmm. start ringing. These aren't reliable actors right. for people to trust. So let, or some Steve people. Schmidt, and, let me, let me, let me ask this Steve question. question. I think he's brilliant. Let he's me. also so eloquent and so brilliant on he, what he says. I, I, again, I, don't, I, I didn't think that today of all days I would have to relitigate very painful memories from my deceased father's campaign. No, you don't but if you have would like to. like to do that, we can. But I ha haven't seen this movie, mm. and I was looking forward to it, because I love Clint Eastwood, and I'm always going to, like, stand Clint Eastwood movies. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to save my judgment on it till the end. But I will say, I have had a movie made about my family that was total garbage, complete <coughs> taken artistic license left and right, which a lot of people took as fact. And there's another yeah. movie coming out called Bombshell right now, which I also haven't seen, have no plans on seeing, mm -hmm. Charlize. So I was interested in this movie for all the obvious reasons, because I used to work <coughs> at Fox, and I was there during that time. I was just watching the first series and the second series of The uh -huh. Crown again, and there was one thing that was right. interesting, which is relevant to today, and that was John Kennedy in 1962 mm -hmm. was speaking to an assembled group of, uh, you know, politicians, etc., and he said... It's in The Crown. We are... Yes, it was in The Crown, I, I because the that. Kennedys are, are featured in The Crown. I, I'm not into... British and he says something to the effect of... Uh, I've also got the caveat that she also liked to drink, so yes. I wasn't... She wasn't necessarily singing at her best. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she drank a lot. I love her. I, I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I am totally American. I didn't know about her until The Crown. And I don't know if people remember, but I called this, because when I read it, I noticed that there were these three ellipses, this dot, dot, dot. Yeah. And I you wondered, did. right? I, I kept on saying dot, 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 dot. dot, dot. That's right. Zat, dot, dot. <laughs> and from legal... Dot, dot, dot. Zat, dot, dot. Yeah. Zat, dot, dot. <laughs> because in legal documents, when you see zat, dot, dot, that means that there's something left out. Yeah. And I noticed with the dot, 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 it said, um, I would like you to find out what happened with this whole situation with re Ukraine. They say crowd strike, dot, dot, dot. And it said, I guess you have one of your wealthy people. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Biden went around bragging that he stopped the prosecution, so if you can look into it, 
dot, dot, dot. <laughs> and so whenever it said Biden, it said dot, dot, dot. And right. I was wondering. We got it. Dot, we got dot, dot. We got it. I got it. And they, and they got it, too. And that's why it, 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 it I got was removed. So now Let's you have, when you look time. at it, reconstruct. Because it's power that. before country. Yeah, and that's because the problem. Because it's power before that is country. Because part of the problem I really believe is that. that. And you guys it's don't want power. The, you guys don't you want power. You know what? Here's what I want. I'm not Here's saying what, you. I'm saying No, no. I, well, this, I'm, I'm speaking, I I'm speaking I just for me. I don't know what you're saying right now. I know, but I'll I got tell it, you I got it. What you may not remember that I got my behind kicked on was President Bush, the baby, the younger Bush. Mm -hmm. uh, w. Thank you, W. W. Is the only person who had a plan for the border. And I backed him for that because I thought, you get it because you are not making this about Mexicans or this or this, because these are about security. folks. Well, yeah. About security. Well, I, at I the was border. old enough to remember so, there were no re the weapons of mass destruction. So, and yeah. so, so, again, the nostalgia for Bush right, right so now I, always entertains me. <laughs> well, I, you know, I'm glad you're entertained. I am. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> if you can't see why people are upset about this, of course I see why people well, are upset. Well, then don't be so dismissive when I'm you're not talking. Dismissive. That's how I feel. We'll be back. Oh, God. I'm not living without guns. I mean, I, I, but it's not just all that guns. Simple. What about living without the assault weapons no, that are killing popular, our children? All right. I, I, but what about right. living without right. just that? How gun? about we live right. in a? How about we live in a place? I love being virtue signaled at 20 minutes into the show. How about we live in a place where we can actually walk in a mall and not look around and be nervous that someone's going to pull out a shotgun? Because that's where I was. But that particular gun. Here. I mean, again, like, I feel safe that I can protect myself, and I have guns in my house. I, I, all right. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's an article today that I wish everybody would read in the Washington Post. It's written by Max Boot. Like, B-O-O-T. Oh, for God's sake, that guy. And wait a second. And Ma Max no, but Boot, he, you know what? He who was a Republican and a conservative who He's turned. not. He was. He's not. He was. He is not. Before you he get was. into the, OK. He is we're not. We're going to something else. Wait a minute, just one word. Because he writes, what will happen to this country if Trump wins in 2020? Yeah. Read it and weep. But there are people like that, that people like Joy Behar go on TV and say, oh, look, it's the Republican, it's the conservative. Max Boot would vote for Elizabeth Warren, I believe. I don't want to speak No, to absolutely but there's not. A certain Point, no, there are a certain point there people that have completely abandoned their conservative principles because Trump happened and they have Trump derangement syndrome. And I take umbrage at the idea that people like that go on TV and say they're Republicans when they will vote for all liberals and all Democrats and support their liberal mm -hmm. policies. You you abandon your principles. That's not true about him. Yeah, He's, that's not true about him or any of these and again, never Trump. I don't have a personal problem they with that. They just Max can't Boots. stand him. No, when you're voting for liberals and you're voting for liberal policies and you come out saying you're okay for Medicare for all and then you go on TV Did saying he you're say a Republican. That? Max Boots? I, I didn't know Max Boot was going to be a hot topic this morning, so I didn't go follow up well, on Well, I know policy. about him, and he did I not know say about that. him, too. People like him and Jennifer Rubin and many others go on TV and are quoted as Republicans when they might as well be liberals like you. They hate and Donald I'm sick Trump. Because it, it makes my life harder. Well, okay, you know what makes my life hard? Getting out of this. That's Max right. Booth. I started one of the biggest grassroots organizations yeah. in the United I States. I believe that Gen. doesn't make you a good politician, with all due respect. And Mayor Bloomberg was mayor for three terms. And so if you're going to go the billionaire route, he's a lot more compelling than you are. Well, let me put it this way. He's a very different person from me. He's a seasoned and politician. If, and if he isn't... I hate ageism. I think I think with experience and age comes a lot of things that are important in leading. Right. It's a two-person race. It's Warren and Biden, you know, period. You know, one, and, and by the way, yeah. when you're talking about age, sorry, I thought Bernie Sanders was going to cough himself into a coma yeah. on the stage last night. You want to talk about somebody looking old, and you have the oldest, whitest extremist battling the other oldest, <laughs> whitest extremist. So I don't understand where Democrats or socialists, whomever, however Bernie Sanders supporters define themselves, socialists, Democrats, whatever, mm -hmm. I don't really care. It's too extreme for me but I don't I don't this logically is not gonna win over the middle of the country which I'm sorry you need to get to the White House and I just I think it's the old old adage that Democrats uh, vote with their hearts and Republicans vote with their heads and we'll get in line and Democrats seem to only if you choose Bernie you only care about the purity test you don't care about it well, you have to remember well, we're a more diverse party than the Republican yeah. Party there's a lot of different kinds of people yeah, but you're choosing party. the oldest whitest man to represent you and you're the most diverse party but okay Bernie, Bernie. it's a big story because he hurt 
uh, Hillary Clinton so much in the last election, and yeah. it's a big story because while he has a good reputation on Capitol Hill, he does as a, being a congenial senator right. um, with other senators, his supporters have a really bad reputation, meaning the burning bur Bernie bros. It's actually one of the few things that really connects uh, liberal pundits and conservative female mm -hmm. pundits mm -hmm. together is there's just a level of misogyny. Look at Twitter, look at mm -hmm. some of the accounts yeah. they do that is... Uh, directed towards specifically women, yeah. specifically women yeah. in politics and specifically women in political commentary. And I'm sure I will have my Twitter just lit up on fire because of this. But he has a problem with women. Yeah. And he has for a long time. And I think if Elizabeth Warren has this in her back pocket, all's fair in politics, all's fair in love and war. Mm -hmm. And I think, look, I don't want another misogynist as president. No. OK? I, I mean, I think we're all women in this country are sick of it. And I have always thought he has. I had a problem with women. Yeah, so, yeah. And it's one of the things he can't, much like Mayor Pete with black voters, mm -hmm. this is his Achilles heel right. with female voters. Right. But, but the problem with that is, is that after, Warren wouldn't shake hands with him, which for me was the moment of the night, because you're supposed to be collegial at the end. Look, she's not shaking hands with him because she's over it. And she's because all the not. Bernie bros got on Twitter and are sending her snake emojis and saying, hashtag Warren is a snake, and it started trending. And that's the misogynistic Bernie bros who came after me yesterday. I'm still saying it again. Stop doing this to women. <laughs> and whether Bernie likes it or not, the fact that she wouldn't shake his hand, I'm sorry, that tells you everything you need to know about how she feels about well, that. The, the this problem that we have talked about mm -hmm. all week, mm -hmm. the Bernie brothers sexism problem, Problem. Mm -hmm. It's following him. Yeah. It's going to continue to follow it's him. Like a, but it's I like, think the oh, big takeaway <laughs> is that she can go up strong and tough and yeah. hard against a you know, bullying man candidate that's been bullying her for her gender. Yeah, no, I experienced it firsthand when, yeah. when I did yeah, the, did the Bill that. Maher show. Um, look, he has no filter. That's, well, what, tell us, that's what part happened? of why Bernie what is happened? like, I'll tell you. Uh, I, was, uh, <laughs> I was sitting on the, uh, the Bill Maher panel with him, and, and I, was young, I, was, I was like 24, 25. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, he was doing his thing Can and talking with his friend like this. Something? And, I mean, we've showed a clip, shown a clip of it. Natural gas is better than natural So why are you against natural gas? First of all, I didn't say it was a You gun. said you don't you want to okay, you don't want to use fossil fuels. Actual, all right. Yeah. <laughs> you said you want to use fossil fuels. I am sorry. Can you talk to shut up like or this something? And I'm, I want to talk about the Bernie bros. Mm -hmm. um, the one thing that connects women on the left and women on the right, I have found at least a lot of guest hosts, a lot of guests that have come on over the three years I've been here, is the abuse that we have all been subjected to by Bernie bros. It is by far, of anything I've ever done in my entire life, the most violent, the most misogynistic, the most sexist, the most harmful. My mother has cried over doctored photos Bernie brothers have sent me, and I'm just mm -hmm. one story. He has a real problem, mm -hmm. and I don't think that he's doing enough to tamper it down. Mm -hmm. If it were anyone, I'd say this has no representative of me. It's disgusting. It's vitriolic. And every time I see him talk about it, he's like, doesn't represent me. Move on. Mm -hmm. You're a extremely powerful woman. Mm -hmm. How do you feel that he's attached to this deeply mm -hmm. misogynistic, and I would go so far as to say violent, mm -hmm. sector of people? I saw an interview you did on a radio show where you were talking about abortion, mm -hmm. and I think this got a lot of play in conservative media and conservative circles where you were talking about, and this is your quote, there's a lot of parts of the Bible that talk about how life begins with breath. So even that is something we can interpret differently. It obviously, in my circles, was passed around everywhere because I think the interpretation from pro-life people like me was that you meant a baby actually being born. And then possible, you know, there's a lot of controversy with um, Governor Northam and what it means and what, what time a woman should be able to have an abortion. I just wanted you to clarify because I found that statement to be pretty radical. Well, uh, I'm just pointing to the fact that uh, different people will interpret their own moral lights and, for that matter, interpret scripture differently. But we live in a country where it is extremely important that no one person have to be subjected to some other person's interpretation of their own religion. But I know I think, we're not um, going to agree. Partial birth abortion is something that was coming up in, in like I said, Governor Northam. It was a huge controversy when he was running for governor. I, I think people, even Democrats, and there are a lot of pro-life Democrats in the country, want to know exactly where your line is, because you will be the president if you win. Right, but my point is that it shouldn't be up to a government official to draw the line. It should be up to the woman who is confronted with the choice. Side after a baby was born, you'd be but does anybody with that. seriously think that's what these I, cases I are think about? That think there think are about the situation. That, yes. if, you're, if this is a late term situation, mm -hmm. then by definition, it's one where a woman was expecting to carry the pregnancy to term. Then she gets the most 
perhaps devastating news of her life. We're talking about families that, that may have picked out a name, maybe assembling a crib, and they learn something excruciating and are faced with this terrible choice. And I don't know what to tell them uh, morally about what they should do. I just know that I, I trust her and her decision medically or morally isn't going to be any better because the government is commanding her to do it in a certain way. I respect way. the You didn't back down from it. This is going to hurt you in the middle of the country with the Republicans you're trying to win over. People like me, this is a hard line, and mm -hmm. quite frankly, that question, that answer is just mm -hmm. pretty. You're just as radical as I thought it was. So, what? would you vote for obstruction? For impeachment? Yeah, I think impeachment needs to be something that's illegal. What? Let me ask. But obstruction is. What does it say to you? What does it say to you when people are pre prevented I feel from? Like I'm being ganged up on in the moment. Oh no, I'm asking you. <laughs> no, Welcome to question. my world, Abby. Oh. Yeah. And again, Can as the only that? conservative in all of New York City, I... I'm not the only one. Believe on. me, one of them yeah. came up yeah. to me <laughs> last night while I was having dinner. Where? Find me. At a restaurant. Can I say hi to me? that question? You guys are scaring me. I just don't... <laughs> I don't really want to say my opinion today, because, like, I do, like... We're it, angry we're, today. You're very we're angry. Very, oh, everyone's changed. been very angry backstage, yeah, and I just feel right. like today is maybe a day for me just to be a conservative quietly, <laughs> uh, because I, I don't want to get booed and yelled at today, and I have said a lot... Do you have recurring nightmares, ladies? You do not. Nope. No? Nope. Nope. I'm a bad bitch. I don't have nightmares. You don't? <laughs> How about no. when you're a there are women around him. who will marry Charlie Manson and date O.J. Simpson. That's so, right. like, we shouldn't be surprised. I will say, like, <coughs> I always, especially in the times we're living in, like, when I choose to go someplace socially, I always think about just we're living in incredibly polarized times. Yeah. Right.